but for for the most part for me what i'm thinking is that um infiltrate just it just gives you one more good threat in this deck that i i we've we've played this deck on stream in the past we've worked a lot on prowess for me the mono red list has just for a long time been one good threat away from away from uh, uh where it needs to be and um, to, to get up to that range between uh, like 13 and 16 creatures that you want. I think Ragavan sucks on this deck. I think that um, Kill and Fiend not having Trample is really awkward. And so like, and, and it's really hard to play like four Kill and Fiend, four Crash through, and then you have to draw both at the same time a lot of the time. Um, uh, Bergy's kind of slow. I've seen some people play Bergy. I think Bergy's kind of cute. But we, we, had, we didn't like set out to find one. This one kind of found us. How do I read Boros Prowess? I like Boros Prowess a lot. Great draw, by the way. Um, deck I like a lot. I think that it's it's, it's what feels like one of those decks that we kind of like figured out and has has some room for like innovation, but not like so much that I'm like trying to work on it all the time. Yeah, I don't think that we're likely to get another pet anytime soon, unless unless Athena like really mellows out and, would, and we feel like she would be um, okay with a cat. I I would love to have a cat. I really like cats. Um, but Athena, Athena, like, every time she's around a cat, she just, like, harasses it nonstop. She just treats it like a dog and tries to, like, play really rough. And she's not, like, trying to hurt it. All the cats just hate her. <laughs> they despise Athena. What is the best prowess variant? I mean, that's partially something I'm trying to figure out. I've tried a lot of different versions, and I think they're all, like, reasonable. The Boros, more heroic version with Lubomancer, Virtuoso, I think is really good. I think Blue Red Phoenix with Ledger Shredder and Phoenix is really good. Um, I think this version's really good. I think that the Green Red versions have a lot of potential, but they're so hard to build. Like, getting the number of, like, Thrasta and the number of lands right is so weird. Was this dog adoption legal or smash and grab? Uh, so, the lore of Lucy. <laughs> Hold on. How good does it just go? Swift Spear, Mutagen of Growth, Breach, Mutagen of Growth. That's three prowess triggers, each of these base four power. They have to chump block. I think that's probably good enough. Um, the lore of Lucy is... Uh, Esther was over at her best friend's house, just hanging out for the evening after they got like crawfish, I think. And um, and her best friend's neighbor was like, "Hey, you guys want a dog?" And apparently, Lucy's family was moving, and they just left her. Which I that always just makes my blood boil when you just like leave your dog after you move. I there's like nothing that makes me matter. Um, I guess I should. Should leave the land of the art for delirium. Um, and and uh, this lady, she took her in without like really being able to take care of her. <laughs> she um, just kind of like just like was leaving her in the crate. She didn't really have the resources to take care of her. She needed a ba she needed the bath so bad. Her fur was all matted. She was really like just so scrappy. She's still pretty scrappy, but. She was even scrappier when we got her, and uh, and Esther was Esther called me and she was like, "Hey, there's a dog, and she's really nice and sweet." And then I was like, "Is she housebroken?" And Esther's like, "Uh, I'll ask." <laughs> Ooh, very good turn for them. Although this is uh, lethal. Yeah, I think these apostle blessings are really sick, actually. So, <laughs> uh. Now we have Lucy. She is just she is a really really good dog. She's she's she is housebroken. She's also like really obedient. She you could just tell her what to do and she like knows English, I guess, and she just does it and she's very very sweet and and kind. Uh, <laughs> she's a sweet dog. The the only thing that she does do though is she'll like when she wants to like come like snuggle, she'll just walk over Athena. She'll just like stomp all over her, which Athena doesn't like. <laughs> she'll just like step on her, and she needs she needs her nails trimmed. We we were trying to get her trim, her nails trimmed yesterday, but we didn't have her papers uh, until yesterday, or and so we're gonna try to get her nails trimmed today. I think these returns are really good. Do we need eight fetches? The fetch lands are really important to fill up for Underworld Breach. I'm like I'm pretty close to playing a ninth fetch land to be honest. Like, I think a ninth fetch line over the Sokin Zon might be correct. 
or over uh, you might be able to play six mountains but i think you want seven because you might surveil them over with drc uh maybe raising the curve i can cut a breach here yeah yeah exactly like, so like athena doesn't listen very well she doesn't athena understands what we tell her but she only ever does what we ask her to do if she wants to <laughs> and so and and so like and also huskies are not very like cuddly snuggly whatever and um uh, so to go to go from a husky to a like sweet obedient dog is like <laughs> refreshing to some extent although i love athena she's perfect Ember, I think it was prime. Appreciate you. Lots of bolts. Lots of bolts. Always, also, obviously, need a threat here. I think this is like a fine, more controlling hand. A lot better. Obviously, they don't have vile. <laughs> My kingdom for a shattering spree, huh? What a bad draw. Infiltrate would be really nice here. Although swift spear and the fourth lightning bolt is nice too. Next turn, if they only have the Mog War Marshal, I can go. Oh, no, it's, I can't get through the War Marshal, actually. Do I think Lean and Light Scrub is a good card? No, not really. That card was, like, not even really playable before Image 2. No, I haven't watched Rings of Power yet. I really wanted to this weekend. I ended up being hella busy with, like, the No Bandless Tournament and then. Uh, Saturday, I was working on Channel Fireball stuff and playing a lot of D&D. &D. Ooh, they're not going to warp. <laughs> they're, they're not going to like this, huh? Quad lightning bolts, huh? So we are sacking land, so we need to draw another one to triple bolt the next turn. Time Traveler Nate, nine months. Any chance of playing Bank Company today? Not today, but we, we'll, we'll probably return to it this week. There's just a lot to do, you know. So there are nine. I have three Lightning Bolts. I don't have a land, but... Maybe I'll draw one. Maybe they don't have any life gain or snoop. There's Mog War Marshal, two mystery cards. Uh, okay, happy that this is a ringleader, not a sling gang. They hit Sting Scourger, Kiki Jiki, Goblin Matron though. So now they can Matron for Sling Gang and Sling Gang next turn. So we're gonna need to find um, a land. <laughs> oh man, we Rouge are pretty pretty freaking well this game, huh? <laughs> the quad lightning bolts. What's your life total opponent? Yeah, this deck is pretty inexpensive, I imagine. I mean, you have Mishra's Bobbles, Manamorphos, Fetchlands. Okay, maybe it's not that inexpensive. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, Fetchlands are, like, cheapest they've ever been. The deck is mostly commons and commons. You can build it cheaper, too. Okay, let's keep this. Up against a Yorian deck, maybe our Apostle's Blessing tech will save us. The Apostle Blessings, I think, are going to be really good. We They were good. That This is our first, second match with them, but we had them in the sideboard at first. But I think they make a lot of sense to me, especially the Mono Red Mana Base. You get the Phyrexian spells a bit easier. And protect, like actually like, getting some like protection against Solitude is really nice. Probably like a little underexplored, these kind of like protection spells. Could have maybe kept the bobble, just another card in the yard. Well, I can't say I'm not uh, unhappy to see Esper install instead of uh, Omnath again, to be honest. <laughs> I think I'm supposed to just start there. Uh, could be, it could be fine to not also. Main deck Lavinia, well, I've never seen that. Destructo Tron, the five pack, thank you, buddy. Got a gift of stuff from Destructo, which you all probably have at this point. Uh, make sure to thank him. 
You have anything you want to say? Now's the time. Any text to be decked? <laughs> yeah, get the week started. It is September, right? Uh, it is September. Text tech <laughs> gifted subs a little cheaper now. Uh, I can keep that on top. Although I guess I'm not. I guess I could have maybe graveyarded it for delirium for next turn. I saw a YouTube video on Soul One Grace Seventy comments the deck. I liked it. I'm excited to play it again. Um, so yeah. So last last week I was kind of doing this thing where I'm just kind of like briefly running through a lot of the deck ideas, and then this week we're going to be diving a bit deeper into things. Although I still have a few like straggling deck ideas I want to play like briefly. Cool. It's good that they can't sack here because it says trample. They do have a giant killer to kill the infantry, but if that's their whole turn, that should be fine. Uh, I think I graveyard this. It's close. Shiny with the three months. Thank you. Uh, so, subs are not worth less to me this month. I, I get paid the same from subs, but um, they just cost less. Amazon, I think, just takes a smaller cut this month. That's how it works. I think they're thirty percent off. They're either it's either twenty or thirty percent. Dude, breach is so broken. <laughs> yeah, it's it's twenty or thirty percent. Okay, gonna bring in these Kozilek's returns. Um, I think when I go down on mutagenic growth against the white deck, I bet they have like a lot of like they might bring in rest in peace. So trimming a breach seems fine. Maybe even trimming two. I guess they're an eighty card deck. We're also raising the curve with the returns. The trimming breach is probably correct. Let me trim a uh, bobble so I can play four gross. I've been trimming a bobble a lot, or three gross. Is return good again? Um, return is like a, you know, these red decks, you need to have some answers to Sanctifier. I think in this version, return makes the most sense, but you could probably convince me a couple different cards are fine. I'm gonna keep this, or the draw, I think it's fine. Bad against this card though. Although that's a very good draw. Um, play the mage now. Just draw the land. Yeah, breach is nuts. Card's crazy. So again, you know, inf infantry is not like this crazy new power, modern powerhouse. But you know, this this is this is why we brew. This is why we work on things. Is so that when we when we get stuck with a, a list, like I think, uh, like this is a good example where this this mono red. Um, prowess breach deck has just felt like it's missing one more like playable uh threat and it's not ragavan not kiln fiend i think those are a little you know dopey um and and i i think that this is this is it and then when when that kind of card gets printed uh when aether channeler gets printed for bank company when soul of Windgris gets printed for john saga you get you know where they go immediately instead of just uh, having to explore with them Okay, I have a bolt. I have a bolt. Hello. What's up? Would you like a PB and <laughs> Nutella sandwich? No. I don't have Jay. I, I'm okay. I, I'm fine. Okay. Thank you. What time are your parents coming over? Uh, after the stream, okay. too. I might, I might be going a little late. It's fine, it's fine. We'll, we'll figure it out. Well, they'll be coming at 2, so they'll yeah, be on yeah. the way at 2, so they'll be here at okay, okay, 2.30. Okay. Maybe even 3, because my mom is like me, so... Okay. <laughs> Lucy, do you want to come here? Come come hang out. Come hang out. Yeah, she doesn't like the Roomba. Yeah, come here. Oh, I figured out how to clean yeah. the Roomba underneath. You don't, do you not like this chair? You just get in the chair because we ask you to. <laughs> no, she likes the chair. Come here. I keep calling her Susie. Susie? Yeah, that's her new name. Susie? Susie. Susie. I like Susie instead of Lucy. Are you Susie now? Huh? Susie. We could do a you, chat you poll for Susie both. or Lucy. <laughs> just whatever. Just whatever. You just <laughs> Ooh, I kind of want to trade here. Let's trade. I could double block to stop them from forge tending, too. I'm listening to Lay Miz. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I showed Esther Lay Miz for the first time. Uh... 
I knew I would like it. I yeah, just yeah, hadn't gotten into it. Just hadn't had the time to watch it. <laughs> I can hear it. Maybe a good... I think Athena's staying with you. I think so too. So let me go land into cast Underworld Breach. My opponent's going to sack their Ranger Captain in response. Graveyard the Lava Dart for some value. And then I can Lava Dart and then Protection from Whites. Maybe better to play the Infiltry here because obviously Trample is really nice, but I think I like this line. Oh, do I like do I like double flashback dart for extra damage? I don't think so. Oh wait, I could have also just played creatures off this. No, yeah, that was the better line. Just play like Swift Channel, another channeler. Yeah, whoops. Okay, this is I, I do like getting that off the table. <laughs> Raw Grack, don't pick this. <laughs> wait, hold on. No, Athena is just in here. And the door is closed. Where did Lucy go? How's Dwarf been? Dwarf is, like, fine, is my evaluation. Dwarf is fine, but, um, the, 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 I, I've played a lot of this deck, and I've just always felt like this deck needed, um, one more good threat, and I think this is, like, a good enough threat for the deck. We're not out of gas. We have two Lava Darts. We have a bunch of Surveils. <laughs> Solitude Pitch Slovenia, though. You're out of gas. <laughs> Athena has dealt with the U Super. <laughs> Minerva is the Roman equivalent of Athena. That makes sense. Yeah, I wanted to do like um, so. There's there's Artemis or Artemis, the the goddess of the hunt from Greek mythology. I don't know how to say her name, but I, I was thinking we could call her Arty. Arty, and short for art, you know, whatever, however you say the, the Greek name. And that's, you know, that's like Athena's sister, I think. <laughs> but Esther, didn't, Esther vetoed that, she didn't like it. Uh oh. Oh, really happy they put that there so I can go dart, dart, dart. <laughs> Bunch of counters on the infantry. It is Artemis, okay. Yeah, I thought that that would be kind of a cute name. Uh, I'm not like Soul too, but Esther didn't like it very much. And um, I always wanted to, I always wanted to like name Azog Zagreus, but I think that I think that Zagreus is uh, like way too far away from Lucy. But like Ar Artie, maybe like she would respond to that. I don't know. <laughs> What's wrong with Lucy? I don't know. We, I, I, it's like if we're gonna rename her, we have to do it now. But. Um, <laughs> I, we, we don't have to rename her. Lucy's fine. Okay, well, we're going all in. Like, I've, I've never gotten to name a dog before, because uh, when I got Athena, she already was named Athena. I've always, I've always wanted to get to name a dog, but... Seems like I'll be Owen too. Although Athena's like her her name fits her really well. Athena, you don't want to come hang out over here. Hmm? Hmm? No, she says Lucy is not in here. So if they go equip equip, they gain four life and can kill my channeler. Or sorry, my soul scar mage. But I can draw mutagenic growth, lava dart, lightning bolts. As a way to force them to sack the forge tinder. Although if they just have another creature, we're in bad shape. Although now they're dead if they attack and don't sack the forge tinder. Probably gonna go to game three to be honest. But if they if they just draw like four lands in a row, three lands in a row, we can still win. Maybe I want a uh, Shattering Spree for game three? What in the world is this? 
Look at your opponent's hand, then choose any card name. Oh, dude, I didn't realize this card worked when your opponent's out of cards in hand. So they can just name Lightning Bolt. Dusk, which is Ram, thank you, thank you. They do name Lightning Bolt. Legend rule their castle, so they can move their uh, Sword of Fire and Ice over. And if I draw, what happens if I draw Mutagen to Growth? Oh, they do the Shadow Spear. Okay, doesn't matter. Game three. Um, I'll play it. I mean, they're an 80 card deck, but I think one or two Shattering Sprees has got to be good. Maybe I'll go down a return on the play. Why can't we see opponent's clock? The, the black bar is cutting off opponent's clock a number of cards in hand. I will, I will try to defeat it tonight, but please don't ask anymore. <laughs> it's too painful to talk about. Baltimore Battle Mage Captain good. I think it has potential in Pioneer. I think it has like zero potential in Modern. It is just like not that common that you get to attack with like tons of creatures in the in the Modern Prowess decks. And Sprite Dragon has haste and triggers off Mistress Bobble if you're blue red. I like what's, what I like about Infantry is that this is a card that works if you stay as mono red. Kidder, 21 months, thank you, thank you. Awesome to shine. H happy Labor Day, everybody. I do love Labor Day. But I also love what I do, so. <laughs> Not observing today, I guess. Okay, double Forge Tinder. Pretty good. The Trample, huge in this game. <laughs> My Kingdom for a Kozlex return. So let's go Swift Spear. Lightning Bolt. I mean, uh, yeah, I think, it's, I think it's fine to play the Swift Spear. Could maybe be better to hold up Blessing. I mean, it's not getting through. I don't know. We are going to get Delirium on the Channeler, which is really important here to keep the pressure up. Uh, Solitude on top is interesting. Is there any world though where my opponent um, does like does just doesn't play around Blessing and passes next turn? Oh no! I sorry. I could I should have attacked because this double block stops all damage. Yeah, I should have attacked. Dang it! So missed two damage there. Weird spot. So Lavinia doesn't stop their solitudes. It also doesn't stop any of the cards of my hand. I, I do think that I want to get the second infantry going. So let me just go attack with my channeler. Oh, I should have played the infantry first because they might solitude in combat here. Because they don't. Name the dog Horalu. That's a good name. <laughs> I mean, if we beat turn one Sentinel into turn two Double Forge Cinder into Lavinia into solitude, that's going to be awesome. I actually feel like we're ahead here, which is crazy. Shout out to Trample. Any Tramplers in the chat? I have some triggers to put on the stack opponent. Oh, Voyager Staff! I love Voyager Staff. Um, I don't, I don't, maybe this is the chatter, but one time someone's like, hey, what about Voyager Staff as a tutorable flicker effect off of Urza Saga? It's one mana artifact, you can sacrifice it for two and flicker a creature, or, you know, slow flicker, like Flicker Wisp, till end of turn. I love that card, I've never registered it. <laughs> I've never registered it, but I've always wanted to. <laughs> um... So next turn we could go Underworld Breach into, yeah, we, we'll keep the Breach on top and then play it next turn, kill the Lavinia. Or I guess that'll just counter the Bolt though. Yeah, I mean, I think this is still gonna have to be fine. New pup, yeah, Esther came home with a dog the other day. <laughs> Uh, her name's Lucy. Her, so we, you know, we kind of saved her from not the best situation. Her name's Lucy. Uh, she's very, very good. We're thinking about maybe changing her name because we have to do it like now if we're gonna do it. But I, I think Lucy fits her pretty well. She's a good dog. 
Is it chump block with Lavinia? That's so good for me because of the breach in hand. And then we still have that other dog who's over there on the floor. Lulu, that is cute, yeah. Don't change your name, sure, I know it's Lucy. I, I would think it would be something with like the same suffix, you know? Like Artie or something. Esther, Esther keeps wanting to call her Susie. But we'll probably just keep it as Lucy. A solitude pitch giant killer. <laughs> and then they can Voyager staff to solitude to get rid of both of my channelers, I guess. I mean, they're super dead. How, how are we just like crushing this game? How are we crushing a game where my opponent went turn one Sentinel, turn two double Forge Master, turn three Lavinia, has already solituded once, is solitude flickering solitude. We're, and we're just like incredibly ahead here. We're just like, it's like this game is like not that close. <laughs> kind of unreal, huh? So I think we just Apostles Blessing uh, Infantry, right? Are you surprised Breach hasn't done more in Modern? Seems powerful, seems slow play. Um, I'm not that, like that surprised, no. Or at the very least, like the Jeskai Breach deck that's been popular lately, that deck has been good for a long time. Oh wait, no, they just Forged Tinder this. Okay, I guess we just make them sack a Forged Tinder, but they're probably doing that anyways, huh? Um, I, I'm not that surprised. I think that Breach, like, doesn't fit in that many decks. Like, there's, it's Lotus Field, this deck, and, uh, the Combo Breach variant. All of these decks are solid. Um, so they go Block here, Prevent, Prevent, Keep the Salt, and they take no damage. Still really ahead. Probably could have, probably should have bolted the Salt to this turn. Oh, they get to gain life if they block like this. That's actually good too. Or is this to and prevent to and from? Would deal okay. I definitely could have played this turn better. Are they keeping it? Are they keeping the forge tender around though? Yeah, they can't. Yeah, I think I think Randy Breach is a really good deck. I think it's, it's got a lot of results and. Um, I, in, in my in my opinion, like the reason why uh, the grinding breach deck has been picking up in popularity again, besides besides like it always being kind of slept on and like popular players like Jesse and Ross and Corey picking it up, ha has been like the, the Grixis Shadow almost completely falling out of the metagame. Uh, back when Loras was around, uh, Grixis Shadow was you know one of the most popular decks, one of the more popular decks at least, and it was really really good against breach. Um, Chaotic neutral. <laughs> Chaotic neutral at best. Yeah, the, the player that I lost to in the quarterfinals won the tournament. They're playing a Dark Depths deck. It was a very good list. What do you think about Burn not siding any graveyard hate? Um, so the only thing you really need graveyard hate for, like the modern metagame for Burn, is Living End. And you can try to combat Living End with... Silence or Chalice of the Void or Rolling Vortex. Although I think Vortex is the worst option about all of all of those. As for Trio, maybe Reanimator. Um, and like you know, Dred Dredge is not gone, but it is it is relatively uncommon. And um, I think that a lot of players, when they're like trying to construct their cyborg, it's like I need graveyard hate. I need artifact hate. I need removal spells. I need. Uh, big man hate, but like the reality is, like you just have to like. Uh, oh, they can't run in six here. <laughs> this is all not run in six colors. They can sign a Draco though. You, you, you just every 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 deck has different sideboard needs, and uh, every metagame has different sideboard uh, needs as well. Two light at the stage, ex exiled. Attack here for eight. Yeah, yeah. There's, yeah, there's also like definitely the time where like faithful suiting was just the best card in modern for a year, and you like had to play like four light lines, and it didn't, <laughs> didn't matter. <laughs> or you just have to you know, play so much graveyard hate. 
Was it the Lurus Steps one? I think the one I played against wasn't playing Lurus. I can't remember. My brain was kind of like... <laughs> uh, <laughs> overloaded at the, at, by that point of the day. Oh no, it's Calibrated Blast! Oh, fuck. But they hit, but they hit Calibrated Blast. They hit Calibrated Blast. <laughs> Sucker. Alright, we win. <laughs> this is de de definitely the, the more painless span of base. This is going to be good in this matchup. Um, I don't really need these Apostles Blessings. I think I'll play like two Shattering Sprees to kill the Scion. Try to stay above uh, 15 until I'm killing them. I think we've won our last five matches of this deck too. Now we're up a game. We went uh, one, two drop, made some changes. No, we ran it back, ran it back. Four, one, losing a brutal game to Omnath and now we're two, oh, up a game. Is hate, oh yeah, Griefer hate is okay against Calibrated Blast if you're gonna play a longer game, but like, because like, you don't really mind, like Graveyard Hate doesn't really matter against them until turn five when they're flashing stuff back um, or retracing. I don't think you need it in this matchup. Okay, let's keep this. We'll draw a land. Can we set up a system that allows you to sub when you play the decks of burn spells? Yeah, that system is uh, <laughs> just subscribe every month and I'll uh, be playing burn spells probably once a, once a month at least. They love what is good. So I have ley lines in the sideboard almost exclusively for the um, almost exclusively for living end here, which, I, which is a hard matchup for this deck. Can we have a, we can maybe have a turn two kill here, right? We have to find like another mutagen to growth plus bolt or something. But it is possible, I think. <laughs> oh boy. That, that, I think I think that's lethal. I'll, I'll, I'll have to, we'll double count. So Lava Dart is one more damage than Lightning Bolt, right? Or no, it's the same with only one prowess creature because this is two plus two, three plus one. And then these are each three. Yep. Turn two kill, baby. Oh yeah, they, can, they, they don't play late line binding, right? It's just not a good hit off blast. <laughs> or at the very least, I've never played grounded here. But I predict that in the next set, they're going to have Phyrexian spells, and none of them are going to be zero mana, is my prediction. Or if they are going to be zero mana, they're going to be super safe. Yeah, we did, we played one League of Elves. I want to play another one. Um, one or two more, we'll see. Maybe maybe more if it ends up being really good. But uh, we did play some. We have a Lightning Bolt. This is just like Red Green, Scape Shift. So I'm gonna have Delirium um, if they kill my channeler. Every deck having access to members standard wasn't great. Yeah, I think that's a, that's a fair criticism. Although I believe like it was like very by design that this member was gonna be good against Obliterator, right? If I remember correctly, it, th that was a little bit before my time too. So I'm just kind of like regurgitating things I've heard to some extent. Uh, let's let's play a Mana Morphos here. Maybe find another one mana creature. Okay, don't find one. I think I will dart with the with the breach in hands. I want to kind of fill up the yard. Maybe find a land for next turn. We find a land for next turn. Which, yeah. So I'll, I'll be able to do a lot of damage next turn. I can go next turn. Breach play Channeler play Mutagenic Growth. I get and I can Mutagenic Growth a bunch of times. I don't know if it's gonna be enough to kill my opponent though. But also my opponent might just like remand me. Thoughts on mental misstep to target zero mana spells. I think that might be a, like a fine design. I don't hate it. Fuck. Um, 
so I can so I can flashback lava dart in order to also bobble in addition to everything else here. Seems fine. Let's get an extra card. Not nearly as good a turn as I was hoping for. Oh, whoops! Almost exiled the bobble. This does obviously uh, shrink my Chandlers by a lot, but I'm about to put an artifact and enchantment in the graveyard with like instants in hand. I should be fine. Lava Dart even like lets me sacrifice a mountain if I need, desperately need Delirium for next turn, I guess. They do have Scape Shift. Main phase Dress Down. It's interesting. Is it Cantrip or do they have Renin Six maybe? And they want to ping. But I have Mutagen Growth if they want to ping. So go to instep. Um, darting end of turn seems fine. Obviously, can flashback for zero. Maybe surveillance is something else to do here. This is something else to do. Let's keep it. Mental misstep for a spell. The no mana with to pay it rather than just zero mana spells. How do you feel about Modern Horizons 2 cards? <laughs> uh, I think it might be fine, yeah. <laughs> what if it just says zero mana counter target Modern Horizons 2 card? Would people uh, like that? Would that be the most popular card that Wizards ever printed? They're at nine, so one Lava Dart doesn't kill them here. Or one, one, yeah, one Dart doesn't kill them, but it does put them to one. I guess I'm probably supposed to growth instead, though. Kind of worried about a bounce effect. Okay, they don't have it. Cool. So we're on the draw against Teamer Scapeshift. I hate to play Magus the Moon usually against Lightning Bolt decks. This may be like the only exception. I also have Mutagenic Growth to save Magus from Lightning Bolts. I think when I raise the curve, I like to trim at least one breach. I can trim a Bobble too, and then maybe go down to two infantry. Although infantry seems really good at this matchup. I could go down to one breach, could trim fourth light up the stage. Let's trim the fourth light up the stage. I don't think you probably ever want to go down to like what maybe, maybe sometimes you go down to one breach against graveyard hate heavy decks. When you bring in the Giganta, uh, I bring it in, in game one and two when I'm flooding. <laughs> and I never go to game three because I just win. Uh, I probably get Mulligan this. Impulse 25 months, thank you for the resubscription, appreciate you. So usually I like to hold the, the channeler, the Swiss Spear, if I have another one mana creature, since I can just play this and attack immediately, but these have to untap to really get value. Though yeah, it definitely looked like that one was dying. Mutagenic Growth would be a pretty nice draw. Certainly gonna slam the infantry here. Two lightning bolts, wow. But no third land. Surely they don't have three lightning bolts. They don't have three lands, yeah. That's just math. <laughs> they do have a fire ice though. Okay, um Let's go. Swift spear, lightning bolt, light up the stage. What did you have? Play regular Blood Moon instead of Magus. Normal chain removal can't be dealt with your creatures. While creature removal basically does both Magus and normal creatures. Uh, Bes Beseju is the reason why I like to play Magus the Moon instead. Beseju is uh, relatively common, relatively popular, and a thorn in my side, huh?
I think I'm gonna light up the stage post combat here. These like value breaches are also just so good. Oh, spectacles only from hand. What's up? Oh, <laughs> thank you, thank you for that. Maybe. Oh, she's so precious. Oh no. Oh no, she's. Oh no. <laughs> She's followed you. <laughs> oh no. Okay. So, sorry, we, light, we just lightning bolt from the yard instead. So we missed one point of damage here. Good little interaction to understand, though. Name her Liliana. Yeah, every every magic player, as soon as they can name any anyone anything, it's Liliana. <laughs> it's not only from hand, but not with escape. Escape. Oh, escape is alternate cost. Okay, I see, I see, I see. That makes sense. I see, I see. <laughs> yeah, Vraska, Elspeth, Liliana. <laughs> I think we're gonna stick with Lucy. It's it's growing on me. Third bolt. They kill the Swiss Spear, the Chandler has Delirium, so they kinda of have to kill the Chandler, and any non creature spell or Swiss Spear wins. But that ain't so bad either. Although I do unlock fetch lands. New dog, yeah, Aster found a... <laughs> we got a new dog. Okay, uh, we have won our last seven matches with the stack, which is pretty sweet. Definitely running really hot. Feels like a nice refresher from all the like mana flood, mana screw from last week. And you want to play a lot of fetch lands uh, in your underworld breach deck too, so there's like not as much room for the utility lands either. But it's just it's just tough to be like sacking your lands aggressively, then you draw breach and you have no no mana left, you know, in your sixteen land deck. We do have frisbees in the car. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we can play some frisbee. Um, I put it shocked in a sacred foundry. I think I'm supposed to just pass. It's gonna pass his blessing here. Don't idle on me. Yeah, we, we've gotten Giganta at least once, I think twice. Oh, a Prowess Mirror, okay. Interesting. I do think that like the Painless mana base obviously is super relevant in this matchup, or you know, mostly Painless. Um, so we can go Channeler, Bobble, and then if we mill a card, we get the Scry with the Fetch Land, which is nice. So Breach is really good for Delirium, but it's also like, with all these Metamorphoses in hand, not a bad pickup. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Esther, did you mean to put them in here? Uh, yeah, but maybe not. No, they'll be fine. Not with the door shut. Oh, I think Lucy will just come here too. Yeah. Let's graveyard let's for Delirium, so we can maybe block that Swiss Spear. Get the Lyrium off we mutagenic growth. Our top card is Electrostatic Infiltry, which I think is good enough to draw here. My channel fire bar card brings to bring your Void Mirrors. Yeah, I can edit it. I I, I must have I must have imported the wrong cyborg guide. I must have imported the wrong cyborg guide. I'll I'll fix it tonight. I'll, I'll I'll send them a message now. It it can be updated. We'll update it tonight. Because I, I I think I wrote an earlier version of it too that had had those uh. I guess I should blessing for mana efficiency here. Thank you for bringing that to my attention. So they're not playing their reckless impulse this turn either. 
get to win the counter fight. And they don't get to attack with so spear because we have pro red. Look at that stack, baby. Now that's a stack, huh? A stack and a half. Um, soul scrub me just fine. I can go. I can just go mage infiltrate next turn with double metamorphose in hand. Yeah, so they're they're not burned. They're 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 a, they're a Boros prowess. It looks like. Only two cards left in their hand, also. Yeah, there should be an Aether Mage's Touch reanimator list. I don't know if the sideboard is 100% up to date, but... Or the, the main deck may be one card off, too. I wrote it pretty early into working on that deck. Yeah, this card is from the new set. The uh, Dominaria United. Yeah, it's like a two-mana Mana Gorge or Hydra, although... <laughs> a little different, huh? Was founding Raider bust? So founding, I liked it in the deck, but like the the deck as a whole felt like a lot worse than the ephemerate version. So they have no cards in their hand. They do have a card on top of their library and a Sunbait Canyon, which they sacrifice. So maybe they have a bobble. Yeah, they have a bobble. Very good turn from our opponent here. Yeah, Leyland Binding is good. It's putting up some results. I think it fits in a lot of shells. I'm going to play with Blue White Control soon. I haven't prepped, but... Um, you know, we've got, a lot, we've got a lot to do this week. <laughs> How much better is Static compared to Dragon? Surprise Dragon is better than Pummeler, but... Or Infantry, but, like, I think, like, this deck really wants to stay Mono Red. Obviously, Iteration and some Blue Cyborg cards could be worth splashing for and Sprite Dragon, but the reality is also that... Having this, having a mono red mana base with so many Phyrexian spells is really nice. Um, it, it is, it is definitely possible that this deck would be better if you splashed, uh, splash blue though. But that, but that, but like having your mana base be all mountains and your lava dart deck, smooth mana is just really nice. I'm gonna take the hit here. And it's like I don't think infantry is like not much worse than Sprite Dragon. It's like close. Um, would you put Binding in Yorion for color control? If so, would I be inclined to remove? Uh, I would put it in there. I, I will say that, like, when you ask me what to remove, I can't give you a clean answer because I don't play the deck very often, but there are, there are plenty of flex spots. There are plenty of flex spots, and, um, also nobody agrees on, like, the perfect way to build that deck anyways. Okay, Graveyard that. Uh, I could keep a land. I think I should Graveyard, though. But there, there's plenty of flex spots. Uh, there's plenty of removal spells that you're already playing. You've got some of the removal spells. You know, there's lots, lots of choices. Metamorphose is also kind of nice in this list too, where you just always get to make mono <laughs> red red. Kind of bricking here though, unfortunately. Feel good about grave routing that land. Okay, Lava Dart's not a brick. Let's go to combat. There's a good chance I just kill the Swift Spear. Let's see how they block first. Yeah, I'll kill the Swift Spear. And try to find something nice for next turn. Maybe mill over a Leather Lava Dart. That'd be nice. Looking, I guess, mostly just looking for Breach. Uh, Light of the Sage would be nice if I had a dart to, like, have it be one man instead of three. There's a breach. Okay. So, I think I should block so I don't die to two burn spells. Although, now they can't have two burn spells, but they can have... They can mill over Lava Dart, find Lightning Bolt, mill over Lava Dart. I should still block, I think. Uh, Master is going to go three months. Appreciate you.
the deck I played yesterday seemed like a much better spell smatter deck. Why don't I play that again? Now there's there's actually a couple banned cards in that now. Twenty four, huh? They did so they did keep the card on top. It's reckless impulse. So I guess now we're gonna have nearly perfect information on if we should block or not. Swift Spear Lightning Bolt, two pretty good hits. So now if my opponent mills over Lava Dart with Lightning Bolt and their Surveil, I die. But I also just kind of have them on the crackback, so they, they're probably they're probably almost forced to bolt one of my creatures, right? Codemasters, three months, Krog with the 13. They're, are they bobbling me or themselves? They're targeting me. Bobbling themselves to see if darts on top was interesting, but now they now they know I have Underworld Breach. So I think that they're more likely to kill one of my creatures. Although maybe they're dead. Maybe they're dead no matter what, even if um, I block and they kill one of my creatures. So if, if they go attack with Channeler, they bolt a Channeler, I trade Channeler for Channeler out of fear of milling over dart. <laughs> My opponent said, you're seriously getting the top deck, all the top decks lol. But I how I surveilled at least six times last turn. It's so sick. Dude, wh how are you, how are you, literally how do you complain against, I, 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 about me finding, finding Underworld Breach? And also not play to your outs here, but. How, how I, I surveilled probably more than six, maybe at least six times, at least six times. <laughs> <coughs> at least six times. <laughs> like literally what the hell <laughs> I might not be complaining might be joking around uh I I don't know dude maybe well sure they're joking around yes that's what's happening <clears throat> yeah they were they were joking they're just joking actually yeah yeah I think it was eight times double metamorphose double dart <laughs> yeah, for sure, just joking. 100%. Okay, up a game. Up a game for the 5-0. I, I would love to get a trophy with this deck. I, I, <laughs> I'm pretty hyped. I, I do feel like... <sighs> just, just love when uh, the evaluations feel right, you know? I'm going to keep this. It's hard to mulligan in this matchup or on the draw. Lots of good cards here. Put a cap seven. I've been saying this a bunch too, but like the fact that my opponent like has to fetch and shock here, and I just get to get basic mountains, I do think is a pretty nice advantage for this matchup. Although maybe my opponent has like some anti-red cyborg cards. Um, I think with this draw, I'm going to just play a Channeler. It's obviously a little risky, but definitely really hoping I can just hit them, light the stage, surveil. Salmon, three months, thank you, appreciate you, appreciate you. Yeah, I, I've definitely been running hot this league, but, you know, we've also won our last seven matches. You have to run hot to win seven matches in a row, no matter what. Why does an opponent play Giganta? Good question. We haven't seen anything of theirs that restricts it. Uh, I'd say the most common thing. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's a good reason not to play Channeler, but... I'd say the most common card that stops you from getting Giganta in this archetype is Bedlam Reveler. Land? I think I just killed this now. Eidolon too. I don't, you, don't, you don't ever play Eidolon in the Prowess decks. They have four cards in their hand. Yes, yeah, so I know I know that, that being cut off is really bad. I'll, I I will promise to try to remember to rebuild the scene either tonight or tomorrow morning. Eidolon does not see any play in Prowess. Yeah, I, I don't know if you're responding to me and you're laughing because I said that and you're disagreeing or if you're laughing at the chatters who are suggesting Eidolon and Prowess, but uh, 
it, it is true that Eidolon does not see any play in Prowess. The, the card is not uh, not good in this archetype. We're trying to find a bolt here. We're pretty obviously pretty on the back foot. Don't think I need to be so aggressive when I'm so behind on board. And I think I just play two creatures instead of um, Lava Darting. I guess I could go Dark Flashback. Well, maybe sure the dogs are playing. I think they're playing nice. Come out in here. Why don't you guys hang out in here, huh? Oh, dude, Lucy's tail is definitely gonna knock something over one day. They have one card in their hand. I'm gonna chump block for sure. Our worst matchups are decks like with Chalice. Yeah, Chalice is tough. You have Shattering Sprees on the board, but it is a good card. Okay, so I got a few options. I could just do. I could just play two one drops again. Maybe I just need to go like Soul Scar Mage, Dart Flashback Dart after they crack the canyon, kill the Swift Spear, and hope to draw land or hope to be able to light the stage and win. <laughs> okay, they didn't crack the canyon. I really expected them to crack the canyon. Maybe they saw what was up here. Seasoned Pyromancer. Oh, they have two darts for flashback. Hey, play nice, play nice, play nice. Be good, be good. <laughs> okay, no attacks. Hey, hey. Time up. Time up. <laughs> okay, so let's go dart them, light up the stage. Is that Lucy or Athena? It's it's Lucy, but it's because Athena I think just plays too rough. Tobas, twenty six months. Appreciate you. All right, let's go to game three. Yeah, yeah, they're fine. They're fine. I just you know I I want I don't want them to get in the habit of like playing super rough though. Yeah, we did. We got a new dog. She's very good. Dude, the house is it's so chaotic right now. I, I'm looking out the window. I see Esther's car's not here. Both dogs are upstairs. And I hear something, like, moving downstairs and crashing downstairs. And so I'm like, what the hell? But it's just the Roomba. <laughs> just the Roomba. Okay, his hand's great on the play. Yeah, the new pup's name is Lucy. She's good. Yeah, I guess they're both upstairs hiding from the, the Roomba. Athena, why don't you just chill? Hmm? Why don't you just chill? <laughs> A lot of chaos today. Okay. Love, love, love to drop Mutagen and Growth. Mutagen and Growth plus Infiltry is like probably like close to a win. Um, the reality though is like they only have four Lightning Bolts in the deck. Uh, there's a really good chance that this Infiltry just, I guess, get to untap with it. So I think I'm supposed to GM. And if it doesn't, I have a Bolt for their threat. You know, we keep going. We saw Heat. Oh yeah, I guess they, yeah, I forgot that they're playing Heat also. But just casting Impulse, love that. Now let me bring the Standing Dust down. They did, they did have March of Otherworldly Light as, I guess, another way they could deal with an infantry. But if they don't have that, they're going to have a hard time dealing with it. That Sunbake Canyon is probably going to come back to bite them, too. 
They're at, you know, I have seven points of burn with no infantry, <laughs> and they're at ten with the Sunbay Canyon. The basic mountain is very good for them. Looks like they have the march, unfortunately for me. I can draw though another lava dart, another swift spear, and be in good shape. Oh, they they they, they forgot they should have cast that Manamorphose. That was a huge punt for them to not cast the Manamorphose. Abbot, but land before the Abbot, also a mistake here. Hopefully they tar fire me, go down to eight, and then they're just one tar Sunbay Canyon or fetch lane crack from dying. Definitely want to like let them some some amount of the time do that to themselves. I'm not going to fire off the bolts here. Um, I'm not really in any danger of dying, so I think I'm okay to just gigant them the hand. This also shows weakness. So, like maybe my opponent, if they're flooded, they go like land, activate Den of the Bugbear, go to seven, and they die. Why is that a punt? So you don't want to play a tap land before your abbot because you can you could hit a land off the abbot and play that instead. And then for the mana morphos, like it was free to cast this mana morphos first before casting the march to just draw a card for free without um, any downside in that spot. So we can draw lava dart, lightning bolt, swift spear, uh, light up the stage, underworld breach. I'm gonna make some mana. They go have to wait to MH3 for the rest of their highest lands. Think they'll sneak them into a standard set. Um, I can't, I don't know that I will ever see those cards, but maybe we will. Okay, just spending a mana to love Darby. Okay, it's down to thirteen. They have three cards in their hand. So pro red resolves, pretty big deal. Reveler pretty good as well. Scary. This card's another reveler. Reveals March of Otherworldly Lights, which they can't cast off the they can't cast off the Chandra. So I can now also draw Apostle's Blessing as an out. I guess I should bolt them so I can also draw Breach. This is maybe telegraphing my hand too much, but it, it does seem like they're super committed to not tapping that canyon. And we brick pretty badly. Thankfully we have a companion. Sorry for rhyming with the canyon. Perspiring Mike, thank you for the gifted sub. Appreciate you. Pretty likely to survive this turn, we'll see. Thoughts on using Bolt to dodge Tar Fire so he gives Blessing to deal lethal damage. I thought it was pretty likely my opponent would like continue to fight, like they can flash back the dart there. Okay, they're going down to four. Immediately go down to four. They have one card in their hand though. Making a mana, one card in hand. Season Pyromancer. Could die. I have the love dart. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. I could dart this in response. Although they have, they have their own dart to counter. I need enough six though. Yeah, it, it is pretty good tech to complain about your opponent's draws. It makes you so much more likely to win by sheer karma, but at what cost? Look at this dark. Dark plus four is four damage. Yeah, but I don't have the bolt mana right now. Oh. <laughs> you see, if you come up here, I bet Athena will leave you alone. I like she seems to like actually the playing. Whoa, that's like, that's pretty good for me. Did they have lethal attack with Den? I don't think so. No. 
is a one of Jaya potential top end. Um, Jaya makes you lose your your Gigantha, uh, and then you also have um, a bunch of you have a bunch of uh, Underworld Breach as your top end in the stack, which I think is better. But I, I do like Jaya a lot. I think Jaya is a really good card. I, I've been kind of looking for a home for her, and I can't. It's, it's tough to find one. Okay. Um, did the bolt, I guess. One card in their hand, though. They did make a mana. So put a counter here, shrink this, on tap bolt, then we win. Oh, wait, this is a combo deck right here, baby. The old rest in peace, Bedlam Reveler. Combo wombo deck, huh? This is... Mm. Ah. Ah. <laughs> mm, love that. <laughs> it's, it's, it's fine. It's, uh, yeah. <laughs> Just funny. I got the trophy. Tense, tense game three. We have won our last eight matches with the deck, which is pretty exciting. Uh, let's let's do one more. I'm having a lot of fun. Uh, I've got some other stuff prepped, but we can maybe save it for tomorrow. Maybe go a little long today. It kind of depends on ooh, trying to dress to kill. Very flavorful. Jeweled Lotus uh, and oh, I like this card a lot too. Probably not worth anything on Magic Online. Jeweled Lotus is probably not worth anything either, right? Wall, thank you for the deck tech.